I would be right now. Give a minute's time. I didn't have money. My finances are all messed up. Franklin's praise. Hey, how you doing? I hope this finds you well. I hope that you are taking time to take care of yourself. But now since you're here with me, you might as well enjoy love and life and laughter with your boy. Listen and gather round me, children, children of a mother whose life lifted up love. Listen and gather round me, children, children of a mother whose life lifted up peace. A mother who taught all of her children to love and be loved by each other. Holding your sister's hand as she walks across life and look out for each other. Carry your brother's load, don't you ever, ever betray him. Go to the store, buy grandmama a pound. Whose life lifted of joy Listen, gather round me children Children of a mother Whose life lifted of hope A mother who taught all of her children To love and be loved by each other
children of a mother whose life lifted up love. Listen, gather around me, children. Children of a mother whose life lifted up hope. A mother who taught all of her children to love and be loved by each other. Hold your baby sister's hand as she walks across life and look out for each other. Carry your brother load. Don't you ever, ever betray him. Go to the store by grandmama for power and love. Oh, Children of a mother whose life lifted a peace, a mother who taught all of the children to love and be loved by each other. Hold your sister's hand as she walks across the line and look out for each other. Carry Like children, we're painted on canvases, picking up shades as we go. We start off with gesso, brushed on by people we know. Watch your technique as you go. Step back and admire my view. Can I use the colors I choose? Do I have some say what you use? Can I get some greens and some blues? We're made by the pigment of paint that is put upon Our stories are told by our views Like Motley and Midden, these masters of peace and light Layers of color and time Step back and admire my view Can I use the colors I choose? Do I have some say what you use? Can I get some green with my blue? We're just like children, we're painted on canvases.
are like children with painted on canvases Picking up shades as we go We start off with gesso Brushed on by people we know Watch your technique as you go Step back and admire my view Can I use the colors I choose? Do I have some say what you use? Can I get some greens and some blues? We're made by the pigment of paint that is put upon our stories are told by us. Like Motley and Bearden, these masters of peace and life, layers of color and time. Step back and admire my view. Can I use the colors I choose? Do I have some say? What do you use? Can I get some green and some blue? We're just like children. like children We're just like children We're painted on canvases Admire my view Admire my view In a place for me, opening my eyes, and now I see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for shining a light on me, putting me right where I'm supposed to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll never, never know just why you love me so. How do you do what you do when you say that you love me? I have to stop and sing about the love you bring. You put the spark and the flame and the fire, you inspire me. Thank you for making a place for me, opening my eyes, and now I see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for shining a light on me, putting me right where I'm supposed to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever I do is in your name. I will thank you. Whatever I say is in your name. Lord, I thank you. However I sing is in your name. I will thank you. However I love is in your name. Lord, I thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Let me welcome all to St. Paul CME Church worship service for Sunday, May 9th, 2021. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers of our congregation. And I especially want to give a shout out to my mom, Brenda Brodus, and my wife, of course, First Lady Sister Lisa Adams. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I want to thank God for uh, the tribute of our mothers. Uh, that took place today. 
Uh, what a wonderful cadre of pictures uh, and memories of, of our mothers who are here with us and, and those who have went on to be with the Lord. And so let me give another shout out to Brother Brian Smith uh, for putting that together. Amen, amen. I know it was not inclusive of all of our mothers, uh, but we tried to capture everyone and we just want to uh, wish you a happy Mother's Day and we pray that that uh, tribute blessed you uh, in such a special way. Amen, amen. Uh, let us uh, receive our announcements. Um, first of all, again, happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers uh, uh, of our congregation. Uh, let me also uh, remind you on tomorrow, we'll be having church conference at 6.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. Uh, and it's a uh, conference of great importance. So you need to be there, leaders and officers. Um, so just be mindful of that. Uh, I'm gonna skip the Women's Day uh, weekend. I'm gonna turn, let Tanya give that announcement as I, once I finish my announcements. Um, uh, know that uh, Sister Henrietta World passed and her services will be uh, this coming Saturday, May 15th, uh, 10 a.m. wake, um, 11 o'clock a.m. funeral. Because of the COVID um, uh, restrictions, uh, the funeral service will be limited uh, to the family and those who will be participating in the service. Uh, members of St. Paul who would like to come, uh, we ask that you come uh, to the wake, pay your respects to the family, uh, and then uh, you can depart. Uh, but we're trying to maintain, uh, you know, the necessary COVID uh, precautions to, to protect everyone. Um, on May 16th, uh, the, the entire 30 Episcopal District will be uh, having a, a William H. Graves in the NAACP membership drive. Uh, if you're not a member of the NAACP, we ask that uh, you join um, and uh, you can do so now uh, or you can do so on May 16th. Uh, you, will, uh, you can do that by going, through, going to the CME Church's website uh, and there's a link there for, uh, to um, subscribe to your membership to the NAACP. Uh, we ask that you do it through the CME website so that uh, the church can get credit for uh, that membership. On May 18th, uh, the St. Paul Historical Committee will be meeting, um, and that will take place uh, at uh, 7 p.m., 7 p.m., I believe. That's the time that I have. Uh, and then also on that same day, uh, the St. Paul Reentry uh, Committee uh, we'll be meeting at 8 p.m. Uh, so be mindful of that. Uh, we will be meeting, um, as uh, many of you have already heard, uh, the mayor is targeting July 4th <clears throat> as a date for total reopening. And so uh, we need to be prepared uh, when the CME Church lifts its um, hold on us gathering. Uh, May 25th, uh, of course, is our quarterly conference. At 6.30, I am asking all uh, leaders, uh, <clears throat> ministry leaders to get your forms in to me no later than May 18th, May 18th, so that we can put together the report for um, our elder. Uh, because of quarterly conference, conference being on May 25th, uh, we had to reschedule our leadership retreat. And so we've... Uh, Reschedule that to June 1st, June 1st. Uh, that's the uh, uh, leadership uh, retreat uh, meeting. Uh, and you can see the time. I believe it's 6.30, um, June 1st, 2021, uh, for the leadership retreat follow-up. So all leaders and officers who are part of those committees, make sure you're present for that meeting. Uh, on June 5th, uh, there will be a graduation party for our very own uh, Sister Gabrielle Davenport. Yay, congratulations, Gabby. And so she'll, uh, Daphne and Rob are having a, a graduation party for her. Um, and then you can see the time. 
uh, I will uh, send an email out with the address uh, so that for those who would like to come, it's a drive-by uh, graduation party. Uh, so you can come bearing gifts and congratulations uh, to Gabby, uh, but be mindful of that. But I will send out an email with the address and all the particulars. So um, be mindful of that. On June 6th, uh, we will, uh, of course, have Holy Communion, but that will be our annual uh, stewardess day. Uh, so uh, be mindful of that. That's going to be a special worship service as we recognize our stewardess. Um, on June 12th uh, is the, uh, of course, annual Usher Board's uh, annual fish fry. And Sister Peggy Brown and Sister Johnny Norvell are asking uh, for you to uh, pre-order now so that they'll know how much they need and uh, so that they can uh, address um, all of the orders that are coming forth. Uh, let me ask that you keep in prayer the following. Uh, first, uh, Marissa uh, Jeans asked that we keep her in prayer as she is on the road coming home. Um, also asked that you keep in prayer Sister Mary Barnes. If you remember, Mary Barnes asked that we keep in prayer her family uh, in the loss of her one cousin uh, who died of COVID. And then she asked us to pray for another cousin who was battling. COVID. Well, that second cousin has uh, passed away. And so we ask that you keep uh, Sister Mary Barnes in your prayers. Also, we're asking that you keep in prayer um, our very own uh, First Lady. Uh, another member of uh, her family uh, passed away. Her cousin uh, lost her husband. Uh, her first cousin lost her husband, uh, who passed away suddenly this week. Uh, and as well, we're asking that you keep in prayer our brother-in-law, uh, who we've asked that you pray for. He was rushed to the hospital uh, this morning. Uh, and then uh, last, uh, lastly, I'm asking that you keep in prayer our newest member, uh, Frances Richard Bay. Uh, she was rushed to the hospital on yesterday uh, with symptoms of a mild stroke. And so we're asking that uh, you keep her uh, lifted in prayer. Uh, but we know that the prayers of the righteous avail of much. Uh, and so we just ask that uh, you be in prayer. And I know there are others, uh, but please keep them in prayer as well. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Sister Tanya Long uh, as she talks to us about Women's Day. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to all mothers aunties, grandmothers, sisters, cousins, whoever had that role in sharing with your upbringing. Happy Mother's Day to all. Lay away, lay away, lay away for Women's Day. I would say Women's Weekend, but I'm gonna say Women's Day. Due to the fact of the homegoing services of Sister Worlds, we will postpone our Saturday denim and pearls to another Saturday. We will discuss that later, maybe this evening or in church conference. So please be prepared for Sunday. Sunday tire, attire is white ladies with pastel. Our asking is $200. Our asking $200. Our theme, she shall not be moved. Psalms 46 and 5, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her at the break of day. So please, ladies and gentlemen, ask all of your friends to tune in to us on next Sunday so that you could hear the wonderful message that our own Sister Frances Evans will be bringing. And we want this to be a great Sunday. So sorry that we have to change Saturday but God knows what's best and he's taking care of us. And again, happy Mother's Day to all. And maybe we'll meet a couple of minutes after service with pastor's permission. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Tanya. Again, let me just remind all of you uh, as we prepare to start service, keep your audio muted unless you're part of the worship service. Uh, use chat to comment or report any issues. If you're on your phone, uh, text Sister Lisa or myself and we will address it. 
turn off your video if you do not want to be seen. Amen. Let us now uh, prepare our hearts and minds for worship and let us start worship now. Amen. 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 Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance. Amen. We'll now be uh, led in prayer uh, by Sister Gabrielle Davenport as she not only leads us in prayer, but our affirmation of faith. Amen. Let us now uh, join with uh, Gabby. Good morning, St. Paul. Can everybody bow their heads and close their eyes? Thank you, God, for letting us be here today to worship you. Thank you, God, for all the mothers. Thank you, God, for just blessing us each and every day. Thank you, God, for all the students that are getting ready to graduate and moving on to the next grade. Thank you, God, for everything that you have done for me, done for everyone in the world just continuously blessing us, even when we do wrong. Thank you, God, for just being you.
Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the people that are no longer here with us today. And just, just continue to heal everyone that has lost anybody that's close to them. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Now we will have the affirmation of faith. I believe in the God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he has rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you so much. Um, we ask now that you prepare uh, yourself to be blessed uh, in music by uh, Sister Lauren Simmons. Yours is the glory. 
what a powerful name it is in the name of jesus christ my king what a powerful name it is and nothing can stand against what a powerful name it is the name of jesus what a powerful name it is the name What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Were you not blessed? Were you not blessed? Amen. Thank you, uh, Sister Lauren Simmons. Thank you so much blessing us in song. Amen. Let us now uh, hear the word of God. Um, our Old Testament will be read by uh, Brother Nelson Simmons. And of course, our New Testament will be read by Brother Rutherford Simmons III. Let us now hear the word of God. Hello, my name is Nelson Simmons, and I'll be reading Psalm 139, um, verses 13 to 18. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were, were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Good morning, St. Paul. I'll be reading 2 Timothy 1, verses 1 through 7. And this is the NIV version. Paul, an apostle of Christ, Jesus, by the will of God, in keeping with the promise of life, that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dear son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve as my ancestor did, with a clear conscience as night and day. I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. And I, persuaded now, lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into the flame of the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hand. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self discipline I've just read for you 2 Timothy 1, verses 1 through 7. Amen. 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 Let us now uh, be blessed in song uh, again uh, by Brother okay. Nelson and Brother Rutherford Simmons III. Amen. Can everyone hear us? Okay, we will be singing King of the World by Natalie Grant. Try to fit you in the walls inside my mind. 
I try to keep you safely in between the lines. I try to put you in the box that I designed. I try to pull you down so we are eye to eye. When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? I try to take life back right out of the hands of the king of the world. How could I make you so small when you're the one who holds it all? When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? Just a whisper of your voice can take the seas. So who am I to try to take the lead? Still I run ahead and think I'm strong enough. When you're the one who made me from the dust. When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? I try to take life back right out of the hands of the king of the world. How could I make you so small? When you're the one who holds it up, when did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? Ooh, you set it all in motion, and every single moment brought it all to be. And you're holding on to me. When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? I try to take life back right out of the hands of the king of the world. How could I make you so small when you're the one who holds it all? When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? Thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's give God praise uh, for uh, Nelson and Rutherford. Amen. Um, we want to thank God again for... Um, our young people leading us in worship today. Uh, we have been tremendously blessed by uh, their gifts and their graces. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let us have a word of prayer. Dear gracious and eternal God, we come today, again, oh God, just giving you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you, dear God, for, uh, as always, how you have brought us thus far by faith, dear God. And we also thank you, dear God, for another day to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we just ask that uh, you would just uh, bless us all, dear God, uh, as we again uh, just uh, focus on you, dear God. Lord, decrease curly, that they see none of me, but all of thee. And in the end, Lord, you will get the honor, you will get the glory, and you will get the praise. And dear God, uh, as I close this prayer, as always, I, I just ask that you bless us any way you can, Lord, and we will truly be satisfied. We thank you, Lord. We love you. We ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let me draw your attention uh, back to the text that was read uh, for your hearing, uh, for it is found in the 139th Division of Psalm, verses 13 through 18. And I'm going to read it again for the purposes of reemphasizing uh, from the NIV translation. For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. 
I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to me. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. When I am awake, I am still with you. Amen. Amen. I want to speak from this subject on Mother's Day, the womb of God, the womb of God. In our continuous journey with God, many, if not all of us, have tried to capture an image of God's relationship with us. The scriptures give us so much imagery uh, to God's relationship to us and with us. How many of you have called God a healer? How many of you have called God a provider? How many of you have called God a way maker? Even the names associated to God has meaningful imagery attached to it. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh. All these names carry imagery that has either encouraged us or blessed us. Yet, in all these names mentioned, the biblical canon also provides another image for us that I believe is not so exclusively focused on God, but where God chooses to exercise his power and favor in our lives. The place that is often mentioned in the Bible as a place of God's activity is the mother's womb. It is in the mother's womb that life begins. It is in the mother's womb where life is incubated. It is in the mother's womb where a connection is made between mother and child. And it is in the mother's womb that God has chosen to give us one of the greatest imageries on what God does for us. Today, we celebrate Mother's Day. But we take time out to not only celebrate love and show our appreciation to our mothers and those who have served as mothers to us. The significance and impact of a true mother can be discussed for days, even years. Therefore, personally, as a man, I can clearly see why Father's Day is just another day versus Mother's Day. Just kidding. Just kidding. However, I am keenly aware that there's something special about a mama you just don't mess with. I believe that this comes from not only the love a true mother has shown to her children, but also the biological connection a child shares with the mother as he or she are in the womb. I distinctly remember an episode of The Cosby Show where Sandra and Alvin came home after their honeymoon. Cliff and Claire were waiting patiently for them to shower them with gifts for the next phase of their life. Cliff and Claire were under the impression that both were headed to medical and law school respectively. Well, Alvin shared that he was not going to medical school and instead was opening a wilderness store. Clearly, Cliff was upset and hit the ceiling regarding Alvin's decision. He got so upset that Claire had to take him out of the living room. After she calmed Cliff down, they both went back out into the living room to speak with Sandra and Alvin. As they began to ask what Alvin will be doing until he gets the wilderness store going, Alvin shared that he will be working in an entry-level job for a major pharmaceutical company. Claire congratulated him and said that everything would be fine while Sandra goes to law school. It was at that point, Sandra told Claire she was not going to law school. Well, I do not need to tell you that Claire hit the ceiling and caused Cliff to take her out of the room as they discussed the future 
of their children. Claire said that she would not let her baby go off with a man in some harebrained wilderness store. Cliff immediately responded that just a minute ago, you told me to be understanding. Now you are telling me something different. Claire told Cliff, you do not understand. That is my child. Cliff said, that is my child too. Claire responded to Cliff in such a way that I believe captures where we're going today. Claire said to Cliff, that is my child. You did not carry her for nine months. And at the time of her birth, hollered to the doctor, take it out, take it out. It was at that one statement, Claire captured the essence and meaning of what a mother goes through as she carries a child in her womb. It is something about the connection of a mother to her child in the womb that helps us to understand the dynamics of God's relationship to us. The very essence of a mother's womb flows into the forming of a child. In our text, Psalm 139 is a psalm of thanksgiving. It's a hymn of thanksgiving. Here in this psalm, David writes about the attributes and the characteristics of God. He speaks from the three levels of attributes. One is God's omnipotence. The other is God's omniscience. And the other is God's omnipresence. And the, the psalm is separated into four sections. Three talks about those attributes. And the last part celebrates and affirm who God is in one's life. And in the womb of your mother, God is giving us a symbol of what God is to us and what God does for us. That's why a child is so connected to one's mother, because there is a biological connection, not only stemming from the mother to the child, but to the child to the mother. And it is in here in that area that God shares with us and shows us his power. Three things in this text that I want to share with you symbolizes being in the womb of God. One is it symbolizes the secret place of God. What is the secret place of God? Well, go to Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Here it is. <clears throat> the womb of God represents God's protection. And when you are in the mother's womb, God is demonstrating to you his protection. Amen. He is covering you and keeping you and looking out for you and protecting you. The womb of God and the womb of a mother serves as a protection for the child. How many of you have found yourself in danger? How many of you have found yourself in situations, but the womb of God covered you because he kept you in his secret place. It is the secret place of God that helps us to understand how a mother looked out for her child and her children. Maybe she didn't give birth to you, but she protected you as though you were her very own that she gave birth to. And then there are mothers who gave birth to children and looked out for them and kept them in the secret place. I stand here today because there are moments that my mother had to protect me from me. She kept me in the secret place. How many of you have covered your children, protected your children, watched over your children? Well, God is trying to help us to understand that the womb of God symbolizes his secret place. And it is in that secret place that God covers and protects us and keeps us. Secondly, the womb of God, as it relates to a mother, 
symbolizes the eternal purpose of God. Jeremiah shares with us that God told him, I knew you when you were in your mother's womb. I called you and formed you. Here it is, God shapes us in the mother's womb and he creates our and forms our purpose. In our mother's womb and in the womb of God, God is shaping and forming us. You didn't become this by yourself. God was forming and shaping you through the mother's womb to help you be the person that you are today. Sometimes I scratch my head because here it is. There are moments in my life that I remember what my mama said to me. I remember how my mama helped shape and form me. And I know because it was a biological connection at birth. But here it is. God tells us that I knew you and I formed you in your mother's womb. That means that God had a plan for you, that God had a purpose for you, that God had a destiny for you. There is no excuse for you being less than anything else because God has a plan and purpose for your life because he formed you in your mother's womb. And it is because that he utilized your mother that you have an eternal purpose with God. I thank God for the mothers who instilled in their children from birth. How many mothers have read to their children Bible stories at birth? How many children, how many mothers have sung lullabies to their children at birth? How many mothers have poured into their children? at birth. Here it is, as the children form themselves in the womb of their mother and in the womb of God, God is shaping them and forming them and calling them into being. Last but not least, the womb of God through the womb of the mother symbolizes the continuous presence of God. One of the things that I want to share with you is that in the Hebrew text, the word womb means something different. The word womb comes from the Hebrew word Raja Shemim, which means mercy and compassion. Uh, don't miss your shout now. Here it is in the womb. God provides his mercy and his compassion. And he provides it because he's with us. He said he will never leave us or forsake us. In Psalm 23, when it ends, it says, mercy will follow you all the days of your life. That mercy that is following you is the presence of God. When a baby is in the mother's womb, she is in and here she is in the presence of not only their mother, but in God. And God is saying that when you are in my womb, I am with you always to the end of time. I am with you when you are on earth and I am with you when you are in heaven. I am with you when you go to work and I am with you. When you come home, I am with you when you're in the hospital and I am with you in the operating room. I am with you when they talk about you and I'm with you when they lift you up. I'm with you when they hurt you and I'm with you when they make you happy. I am with you when they hit you and I'm with you when they love you. I am with you when they hate you and I'm with you when they recognize you. I am with you when they betray you and I'm with you when they're friends with you. I am with you always. The womb of God symbolizes his presence. And when I think about when the world kicked me to the curb 
It was my mother and God working through her. She said, baby, if nobody else loves you, I love you because I'm with you all the way. When others didn't appreciate me, it was my mother who said, baby, you can be anything you want to be. Oh, good God Almighty. When I think about what God is trying to show us in this text, God is helping us to understand that he'll never leave us or forsake us. The presence of God is always with us. And in his presence comes joy. In his presence comes peace. In his presence comes provision. In his presence comes protection. In his presence comes healing. In his presence comes breakthrough. In his presence comes deliverance. In his presence comes my praise. In his presence comes my worship. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Mom, for being with me always. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. The door of the church is open. The door of the church is open. Is there one, is there one who wish to give their life to Christ? Is there one who wish to rededicate today? Come back to when you said yes to his will and yes to his way. We extend the invitation to discipleship. Is there one, is there one? who wish to give their life to Christ? Is there one, is there one who wish to rededicate today? Come back to when you said yes to his will and yes to his way. Feel free to use the chat option to speak up or, uh, or also uh, you can unmute yourselves on your phone, hit star six, unmute, speak up and speak out. And then of course, mute yourself back uh, but we extend the invitation to discipleship now. The door of the church is open. The door of the church is open. Is there one? Is there one who wish to give their life to Christ today? Is there one? Is there one who wish to rededicate today? Come back to when you said yes to his will and yes to his way. Amen. 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 Is there one? Well, if God has been good to you, give God praise wherever you are and thank God for how God has kept you through these turbulent times. And again, we thank God for the mothers who have kept us and looked out for us and watched out for us. Amen. Amen. We'll now have our prayers for the people. Uh, we'll be led by Sister Lauren Simmons today. Uh, we ask now that uh, you will use the chat option uh, or you can speak up and speak out, unmute yourselves on your phone, press star six uh, on your phone, uh, unmute yourself. Um, and just speak up and give your prayer requests. Uh, and uh, when all the prayer requests have been given, um, we will um, again uh, turn it. We'll turn it over to Sister Lauren Simmons. Continue prayers for the birth of Yokely, Sandra Simmons, Deborah Nance, Diana Belcher, Joshua Davenport, Yui Fitzhugh, Jeremiah Ford, Ernestine Martin, Lenny Price, Carol Mitchell, Tiffany and Tracy Smith, uh, Diana Wells, uh, Patricia Rome, and all of the mothers that uh, have been there for us. All right. Uh, 
Uh, Tanya is asking prayers for the Long family. Pamela Warford is asking for prayers for herself and the Warford family. Sister Yolanda Dawes, prayers for healing for my mom uh, and Maya and herself as well. Uh, Judge Bertina Lampkin, please pray for my uncle Columbus who will be 99 on June 30th. My aunt Maxine who will be 93 and all those who care for them, the entire Lampkin, use Crenshaw families and for Mrs. Cassandra Weaver, yes. No drive. It, it did nothing. All right. Any other prayer requests? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right. Carol Mitchell is asking prayers for all the mothers in the church and the Coleman Austin Mitchell families. Uh, Cheryl is asking prayers for the Turnage Rayford family. I want to pray for my. I believe that was Tawanda. I think we heard you, Tawanda. All right. Are there other prayer requests? Uh, pray, uh, TELUS is asking prayers for the cyber attacks that are going on. Um, the Owens crew is uh, thanking God for continued protection, asking God to continue, lead, direct, and speak to all of our youth and young adults. Laura Clemens, Delois Cook, Jody, all those under a doctor's care recovering from surgery, heal the land, bless all mothers here and in heaven. Okay. Uh, sister, uh, the Davenport family, continue prayers for my family, my church family, every situation, our youth, those that are dealing with sickness, uh, and the bereave. Uh, Francis, Sister Francis Evan, thank you for calls, cards, and prayers for myself and my sister. Uh, sister Kayla, pray for me and my family. All right, any other uh, prayers, requests? Pastor Mary Barnes, and I am still asking prayer for the two branches of my family tree the Weatherspoon family that we lost and had a funeral for yesterday for that daughter. And then my other cousin who passed on Friday morning, Kitty Coles. So we're just struggling and going through it, but please continue to pray for all of my family. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, any other prayer requests? All right, uh, Sister Lauren, we are in your hands. All right, thank you. May everyone please bow their heads and close their eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for another day, to see another day, and to live another day, dear Heavenly Father. I pray for the mothers who are no longer here with us today on this Mother's Day, that you will comfort those who no longer have their mothers with them today. Um, dear Heavenly Father, um, I bless those who do have their mothers here today that they will have a blessed Mother's Day and that everyone will be protected and safe and safe from COVID. Lord, I pray that you you hear and know everybody's prayer request that was here today, that you will touch their hearts, that you will heal them, that you will help them. I want to make a special prayer for Maya's mother, Ms. Doss, that you will heal her and have a speedy recovery, dear Heavenly Father. I thank you for everything that you have given us, everything you have blessed us with, everything that, that you just have for us, dear Heavenly Father. I pray that all of us will have a nice day today as even though the weather is a bit muggy outside and it has rained, that we will all just be happy today and have a good Mother's Day and safe travels to wherever we are going. I pray that you will also have, you will also have a blessed week today and that during school, as the school year is ending, that you will just give the students strength to be able to finish the school year out well. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.
All right. Before I uh, speak on uh, sowing a seed into our ministry, uh, let me thank you all for the prayers. Thank Lauren for um, uh, the prayer that has went forth. Uh, we just got word that our brother-in-law is doing uh, 110% better. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for your prayers. Just wanted to give that update. Um, we ask now that uh, um, you take this moment to sow a seed into our ministry. We have three options in which you can do that. Uh, the first option, of course, is uh, through Zelle. Uh, the recipient would be St. Paul CME Church, uh, and uh, the um, address would be spministries at comcast.net, spministries at comcast.net. Uh, and then the second option, of course, is through our website. Our website is now back up. Uh, it has been repaired and is now back up. Uh, and you would reach our website uh, by the address St. Paul CME CHI.com. You would then, uh, once you get to the website, click on the link entitled Online Giving and select a donation category. Um, and then, of course, the third way, of course, is that you can mail it to the church, St. Paul CME Church, 4644 South Dearborn Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. Uh, make it care of the steward board. In all three giving categories, make sure you identify in the memo section what it is for, tithe, Sunday school, general funds. Thank you so much for what uh, you have given, what you are about to give, what you hope to give, and what you will give in the future. Amen. All right, uh, what's coming up next? So first, um, let me share with you that for those who missed the uh, Mother's Day tribute in the beginning of uh, the worship service, uh, it will be uh, placed on the website uh, for you to view uh, later. Uh, so give uh, our tech team um, a little while, uh, but it will be posted on the website today uh, for those who did not get an opportunity to see it. And for those who wish to share it with others, uh, it will be on uh, the website. Uh, let me thank uh, God for those who are with us today. Uh, I believe Janiah. Uh, Janiah, we want to uh, praise God for your presence. Uh, of course, Sister Lenny Price uh, is joining us today. We thank God for Sister Lenny Price. Uh, Sister Laura Clemens. Uh, we thank God for um, her as well. Uh, and then our very own Reverend Antoinette Moody Sims. Uh, so good to have, have her uh, with us. And then I believe Bishop was with us earlier uh, and he may have left to join another service. Uh, but as always, we're grateful for uh, Bishop joining us uh, in our worship. And there may be others that I did not call and I apologize. Um, we don't have all the names, but we just want to welcome and thank you all for uh, being and joining with us today. And of course, uh, to all of the mothers, uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, be mindful of the uh, church conference on tomorrow, on tomorrow uh, at 6.30. Uh, and uh, we will talk about the rest of the calendar uh, at the meeting on uh, tomorrow. Uh, but again, thank you all and, and uh, God bless you. Let us now receive the benediction. It is my prayer to God for you that the Lord would bless you and keep you, that the Lord would make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, and that the Lord would lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace both now and forevermore. And everyone together say, Amen. All right, guys.